Hey guys, Nick Ball here. I hope you, uh, I hope you're well, and thanks for watching this video. I'm going really, uh, just, just winging it. I've uh, made myself about 15 different URLs that I'm going to show you, and we're going from back in 2002 to what's happening right now. And along the journey, I'm hoping to give you all the information that you you need. I think what has been written down is hard to uh, hard to grasp relative to the simplicity of a video. So here we go. Back in 2002, started with a website that looked pretty similar to this, and this didn't change until 2016 when. Or was it 2017? Maybe 2017 when we had the need to make a mobile website um, and this version was created along all along the time we were developing other stuff anyway. This suddenly just came full circle and became a um, uh, prototype. Uh, more to the point, it became what we showed people. Okay. We'll get back to the website in a second. 2009 created Experience Africa for Sotheby's, uh, Sotheby's Realty, Cape Town, that is. And um, the idea was they would go and make safari bookings and uh, we would share in, in some of the commission. Unfortunately, it... Um, there, was, there was some buggy code and all sorts of problems back in the early days. Two years later, 2011, made this business plan about the duplicating the website method, um, but doing it quite a lot. And if we can see here somewhere, we can see here, here's the Experience Africa original website, and there's the African Concierge for Sotheby's. Um, just because I love it, so I'm going to throw in this page from sworld.biz. Sorry, that last page was from sworld.biz. I'm going to throw in this one because if you look at my book, it's all about, sorry, my book, 64 Reasons Why, which should be review on Monday morning. Um, you'll see there's, 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 there's quite a lot about building cities and them being net zero. And this was the original plan for that back in 2011. So that's been quite a little. If you see all the little houses being sold, etc., etc. Right, 2012, AmericanButterfly.org, um, albeit that was when it was written, 2012, 2013, this website was done in 12, 2016, and it's really mostly just the slider we're looking at, the, uh, in fact, no, the menu system's quite good, and it's got the double menu system of it being at the top here and it's down the right, which is sometimes useful, especially if you've got a lot. See here, there's like all this going on. Yeah, basic WordPress website. Okay, we're gonna... S yeah, as I said, this was created 2013, but we updated it about 2016 to carry on coherently um, we're now in 2013 and Cape Town Luxury Villas. This was the first prototype website that worked. I had got Cape Villas, original version. I had literally just made a duplicate of it. Simple as that. And I then started rechanging everything so as it looked better or different anyway. This was its look. And um, created uh, the CMS, first time I'd worked directly programming a CMS or giving the instructions to the programmers. More to the point, I did the designing, they would do the PHP. And uh, this uh, made nearly as much money as Cape Villas did in its first year out. So it was certainly a very good prototype. And I think that was the year I made more money than any other year. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, here is another WordPress website. Because I don't want to be coming along saying you've got to use S-Web, you've got to use S-Web. 
uh, not WordPress without letting you know that I spent a long time in WordPress before I realized it really wasn't suitable. I mean, for instance, if every single one of these properties here leads to a page out of its own and you can see, you know, the, this is quite some time has been made, put into each one of these, every single one. So that's, gosh, there must be 50, maybe 100. And eventually we had to throw it all away. We had to throw all of this content, all of this content that we had done. I mean, you're talking you know, a year of someone's life doing this. Uh, and yeah, we couldn't use it in the end. It's just here. We had to recopy it all again onto our own version, uh, onto S-Web. Okay, so there we go. Blog.VillaSecrets was the beginning of the uh, this type of design. And we can see it now. If we go to Villa Secrets now, or actually Kate Villas now, where were we? Yeah, if we look at Kate Villas now, and we say, for instance, looked at, actually, that's not the best example. I'm going to choose another example. Oh, well, look, there you go. You can see it now. Basically the same thing, but this is all coming from our own system. And you can see it's also tidier. You know, where's that one gone? Yeah, you can see it's tidier. It's, we could do more that. This is that. And we could do all sorts of other little animations, etc., etc. Okay, so that's On Road to Villa Secrets. One year of a copywriter's life who she'll never get back. Um, sorry, Chrissy. Right. I'm showing this is uh, Villa Secrets now. And uh, this is actually where we work from. And I'm just going to quickly show you. We log in. And these are products, and over here are all different ways to use the CMS. And it's a lot about, if we go to Basecamp here, we can change all the information for Kate Villas, or we can change it for a new site, Kate Luxury Villas, or we can do it for another new site, Villas in Canada's Bay. So this, web, this website becomes the controller of all other websites. You can think of this as the mothership and all other websites as satellites. Okay, where are we going? Where are we going? Okay, just want to show you some uh, SEO. Not that it's my, it's my, not that it's something that I've ever really done too much because the link, uh, the link, you need a lot of links, and you need a lot of links from powerful sites if you want to do well in SEO. SEO, you've got to have it. You've got to have your your website made in the right way, so as it you can and WordPress sort of does that automatically. But um, yeah, it's not it's never been my forte because I've never been one to just try and gather links. Of course, in the university fair, you've got loads of people who can give you links, so it makes it very very much more easily. And you could say that Angel Fruit was only ever made as an SEO exercise. Well, you'd be wrong, but one one could say so. Sorry. Um, We've stuck on this very rather boring page for quite a while. But if we type in an economic theory of everything, we can see us here at number two. Uh, or if you type in differently an ecological theory of any, everything, you can see us here at number two again, I think. One, two. Yeah. Um, okay, so there's that's some SEO. We could do an awful lot better on your site because I haven't really done much on the SEO on Angel Theory. This is the site that we you we just saw. Sorry, let's just click it through on the on the actual page so we can see. And this is a blog page, one particular one. So you can see it's it's a very beautiful blog page and it's very very simple to do because all you're doing is adding a new little section well text 
picture, text, picture, text, header, picture, h2 text, h2 is the header, header 2 HTML. Okay, so let's have a look at uh, this website because this is something we can, uh, it's the same principle in S-Web is in I can duplicate this website. Um, I would duplicate it. I would then get rid of all of my content and you would put your content in its place, changing these um, menu systems to suit you. And you can see them. there's menu systems inside of menu systems. So here's the book, A More Creative Capitalism, which is now essentially the book Sucre Economics. And you see here we've got the backstory. So it's a good, you know, you can get a lot, a lot on here. Um, and yeah, this, I mean, it's not a lot more to show than the menu system showing a page. Oh, of course, the slider. Um, because we've already made the slider in this way, if you've fancied just. Um, copying this slider hang on one second yeah note the animation on the screen size 1920 only works when it's at plus 110 or minus 100 minus 80 on Google Chrome very annoying but it's otherwise it just slides normally so so yeah we could make this for you I could make this for you when I say we sorry me Venice beneath and Ashish uh, very very talented guys from India uh, I've been working with them well been working with Venice for many many years six years five years now um yeah so we would just copy this entire website we would get rid of my text and let's yeah we would get rid of my text my pages and uh, we would create you your pages or you would create your pages yourself it's very very easy this was the photo this was all made via a two-hour video tutorial and what I've done is I've now put 90 different marks on that tutorial listing everything you could possibly want to change and I give that to my dad and he works his, he, he, he does all his own WordPress now. Um, based on that simple to use form. Um, okay, let's move forwards. I think we've shown some, some, some quality at WordPress. The speed, this could be done for you in a day, you know. Okay. What have we got here? Okay, we've shown mm -mm, Angel Theory. We've seen that. What were we looking at? Ah, okay. So after I started Angel Theory, the, the last... Um, I made this in 2017. Yeah, here we go. Which is another uh, WordPress website, again, with the right navigation. You see, it's you see, you see, it's always looking okay. It's a little bit scruffy. This on the right. So anyway, this is sort of a uh, a summary page. For the Villa Secrets business, and um, on here, there's a, there's so much work that's gone into this. Um, for instance, if we want to look at the networking, chapter two, and this is all interesting stuff for you guys, this networking strategy, the, the networking strategy is the same. You can see just all of this on networking. Networking systems. 
Uh, and it goes on. I mean, really, it just goes on and on and on. On and on and on. Okay. Then we have CDS software. Software. And on and on and on. So, um, this, as it is, as a blog site, is easier to do in WordPress than it was, than it used to be to do in SWeb. We are now creating S. The SWeb was originally created with the idea that there would be a specific page type like this, like this. Hope. Let's just go to the home page. You would have a home page like this, and you would choose what goes in your sliders. You would choose what picture to go there. You would choose what text to go there. You would choose the pictures there. You would choose the text there. Thanks. Now might be a good time to show you how you actually do that. Maybe I'm just worried about getting back to the same place. Um, anyway, let's, let's just let me go back. Let me show you how that's done in a separate video for the CMS. Um, so, yeah, the original idea was we copied the website and someone had to stick to our, you know, this is how your your home page would be looking. Um, however, change that recently. Um, this is the, if, without that change, we wouldn't be talking about this. Um, because this, obviously, we haven't got all the elements here that we would want. We have, well, we have, we have got a lot of elements. Anything you see, we can copy. Um, and if we go to an individual villa which one is an individual slider and now we're looking more in um i think what you you know white backgrounds Simply laid out fonts, simply laid out images. Yeah, so yeah, that that without the ability to get this section here into the S web, it wouldn't be very good for the university uh, use, but that's what we're working on right now is I've taken about 25 different pieces i.e. this would be one piece this page would be one piece these middle bits here that's another piece and this is another piece and this is another piece and one basically starts at the top one goes down and clicks chooses what piece they want next and then you can have it, and then you can have it, then you can have it. What you would do is you would then make your master mothership website on whatever URL you chose, and then we would reproduce that for as many people as uh, you wanted, where after they would still have the structure of your main site, but they can add new content, add new pages here, and as soon as they upload that page on their own website, it's on your website it's on everybody's website if they want to show it um, and that's the beauty of SWeb because you just can't do that in WordPress not not anywhere close okay uh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. case in question is that we've lost a year doing it all in WordPress and then found we had to make our own system right where were we where were we we'd seen angel theory yep We'd seen okay now we're getting to the frontier uh cake luxury villas was created about 
two months ago, I really should spend a lot more time individualizing it. Um, but I haven't. <laughs> In fact, the the I, the reason the individualizing that I want to do, I needed to have that function so I could call in all the other sections. So as each, it, so this home page didn't look so much like the other pages. I e one with no sliders on it at all, one that really just went with bits like that and this. So you know this is a nice look. That sack, back, same again on white, etc., etc., etc. Um, but this is the S-Web system. This website, capetownluxurybiz.com, and I don't know if I'm going to get $50,000 um, for it. Um, <laughs> pricing is... Uh, that's what it's priced at at the moment. But in general, it comes with a lot of other things, including equity in various things. Um, but certainly, it gives shows you that... Here we go. You imagine you've got your uh, your mothership website, and this is it. Say it was the equivalent of Kate Villas. And you did what you needed to do. And then you just copied it. You copied the whole thing. So as... Say, for instance, uh, you wanted to work with someone who was uh, fluent in German. They wanted to translate the donut into German. Now, they can do that relatively simply. There are some complexities, such as the menu system, but not that we couldn't make a CMS for, um, so that changed. So you would have one person who's made their German version. So now you've got a German version for yourself. Maybe you let's have another person doing, you know, you've got the six, seven different systems on your, uh, on your graphic. Um, each website is supposed to encourage someone to do something. Uh, maybe that's a lot of copywriting. Maybe that's something to do with um, research. You know, maybe you found a brilliant researcher, one of your grad students, really, you know, really hard working. And you say, look, grad student, here's a deal satellite website and it'll be just the same as this. There's no difference in terms of, apart from the name, there's no difference between this website that's the duplicate and Kate Villa's. That is the uh, the mothership. Technically, the mothership is Villa Secrets. Just anyway, um, right? So yeah, Cape Town Luxury Villas. This is a you know this is a million pounds worth of work, and I can re re recreate it for a hundred pound. Okay, here's another one. Villas in Camps Bay. And I did that just to see how long it would take between making site number two and site number three. I was worried it was going to take about two or three weeks and each new site was going to take about another three weeks. Did it in an hour. Okay, so right to where we are now, going back to WordPress, I've just uploaded this blog. I, I hadn't loaded anything since since October 2018 and now we've added hmm haven't added the menu section yet but hmm where is it ah I have to do it by the type in the URL angeltheory.org slash s dash r e s okay here we go 
back here again. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, all of my work has come to this. Um, it's a... Uh, it's a monopolistic... Um, trick that works as best I can tell now what happens next is I'm going to make an entire new website called either super on super economics AI or super economics dot network and that'll be made from a duplicate of WordPress, where after I'm making a the actual S Web website out of it would be sweb.org website out of S Web. So it's the S Web website about how I'm making that website out of Web, <laughs> which in essence is basically I'm using the functions that I've made to make the home page in Kate Villas and Villa Secrets and all those other websites. Uh, but applying that to making my uh, uh, making the, the the super economics the, sorry the sweb.org website so as people can see um, its versatility and by coincidence came came along this uh, opportunity to work with you guys and create your you create a universities and authors version of sweb and um, I'm you know, I'd really look forward to it. Uh, it also suits uh, suits me suits me well in many ways. Okay, so that is twenty two thousand and two to twenty twenty, and I'll see you in another video where we look a little bit more closely at the CMS side of things. Okay, thanks for watching. If you managed to get through it, well done. Cheers.